This is me flying with an elytra that has infinite durability and is invisible to all players. But to understand how I got here, we first need to rewind to September 1st, 2023. This is the story of how we discovered possibly the biggest glitch in Minecraft Realms history. Keep watching, because things are about to get interesting. was a hot summer day, perfect conditions to go outside with some friends and touch grass. But just like any other day of the year, this was also great conditions to stay inside and play Minecraft on your computer. This is what I did. Me and a friend were just chilling in the XP grinder when I suddenly dropped my pickaxe. Then as fate would have it, when I went to pick it up, I dropped it again. But by dropping it on the same frame as picking it up, I effectively duplicated the item. I now had a pickaxe in my inventory and one on the ground. The only difference is, one of these is fake. Here's what I mean. This is my point of view, and this is my friend's point of view. See the difference? To him, it looks like I'm holding nothing, and that's because the item in my inventory isn't real. Well, according to the server. By doing this glitch, you cause a desync between the server and your client. So from your perspective, it looks like you're holding a perfectly legit pickaxe. You can even mine blocks with it really fast, but they're replaced, because the server doesn't agree that you have a pickaxe. As a result, the block should only be mined at this speed. But as you'll see later in the video, this isn't the case for all items. In this video, I'm going to attempt to make a full guide from top to bottom covering this very useful glitch. Now of course we can't test every item in every version, because that would take a lifetime. But for the sake of you guys, I've handpicked what I think are the three most useful items you can duplicate with this glitch, starting from blocks to tools, and then the elytra. So now that you know the basics of how this duplication glitch works, let's get on to testing. So for the first test, I decided to go with a Java single player world because it's the most similar to Realms and so I thought if it would work on any version other than Realms, it might be this one. So let's start out with something fairly likely. We'll label this one full test. Aha, here we are. A beautiful new world to test some bugs, of course. So to test this bug, I put together a quick chest with cobblestone, tools, and the elytra for our final test. The armor stand is here because it actually provides a super useful way to duplicate armor items, such as the elytra. But for the test, we'll stick to the old good cobblestone. As you can see, guys, picking it up goes into our first loft. By holding down Control and Q, you can drop the full stack. So that's what we'll be attempting today. Of course, there is no way to definitively prove that the glitch isn't working, because I could just be failing. This is why for each version, I'm going to be giving a total of 20 tries, but only if they actually look like they should have worked. And let's go! Okay, so I've given it a fair amount of tries, and unfortunately, I think Java single player is going to have to be a fail. Or what I should have said, it just hasn't succeeded yet. You see, later on in the video, I find something very cool about Java single player that wouldn't just have to do with items in your inventory, but worked with a particularly special item. Okay, so we are now on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. This is the edition for console, mobile, and PC Bedrock. And, I don't know, whatever other device you have is probably Bedrock. As usual, we will name this full test, easy, and create. Okay, here we are in the lovely world. Doesn't look too different than Java, apart from a couple lacking redstone features. This should be a good place to do our test. Get out some cobblestone. Alright, here we go, but first, let's just see if we can drop it. We can drop the entire stack indeed. Doesn't look like it's doing much. Intriguing. Well, if it was going to do it, I'd definitely say that it would have done it by now. Just in case it works, let's try out the elytra. We have the elytra, armor stand, let's go into survival. Here we are in survival. You can put this on, and it would take it off. Obviously, it goes back in inventory. If you press Q at the same time, it should, yeah, it should fall. But in Java edition, you can do this at the same time, and it will literally duplicate the elytra. Here, it doesn't seem like the elytra is duplicating. Well, that certainly isn't working. Now, unfortunately, guys, I don't have access to Bedrock Realms. I actually used to. So now, it may seem like we've tested all versions, right? Bedrock and Java. But there's one other thing I do want to try, which is a slightly older version of Minecraft. Let's load that up. 
Okay, so here we are in Minecraft 1.0. I couldn't get this to full screen. There's maybe a way, but uh, if you go in video settings, particles, advanced, OpenGL, whatever that is, I'm going to leave these all with very basic settings. We'll go to single player, create a new world, name this full test, of course, and we shall put this in creative and create a new world. Simulating world for a bit. Okay, and here we are. Interesting. The game seems very simple. The menu here is very odd. You can still put items away like that. I wonder if we can grab a stack of things. Does anything stack? I don't think we can grab a full stack of things, guys. Oh, we can. We have to grab one at a time. Are you kidding? Can we control drop things? Okay, you can only drop one at a time. What we're going to do is just have one and see if this works. Oh, we can go into F5. Well, it was neat to see a game like this, but I doubt we're going to be able to do this glitch in this version. So, uh, on to the next Wait, I've just discovered something crazy, guys. Okay, so I realized I didn't actually do Java single player in survival yet. So I came back in here, right, vanilla survival, and I realized you can't do the duplication glitch like I'd like with this. Clearly, this does not work, but look what I've just discovered. The elytra works. Simply grab an armor stand, put your elytra on the armor stand, and then as if you're collecting it, right, which is the same button you put it on, press Q at the same time. There we have it. That's the elytra, right? That's the real elytra. If I were to pick that up, this one right here would disappear, as well as if I went into a chest. Put it on, right? But now watch what happens now. If I fly, it does a little bob. You see this bob? Little bob. I'm not really flying right now. If I go into F5, you see that? That's weird. To a friend, it looks like I'm floating, but if you spam fast enough, you can fly. Now on Realms, this dupe glitch is a lot easier and the Elytra works even better. Now I'm fairly certain that if we were to gather two blocks here, place them like this, we should be able to get on top. Well, I'm not the best at this. On the realm, it's easier. So we now know this works in other versions if we try hard enough. So I've come here on the realm where we can reproduce this glitch very easily. Inside, I have a nice pop-up armor stand. All we have to do is grab our elytra and then just like that, it really works. Okay, so I put this on. Now we're wearing a fake elytra. So it looks like we are to us. But for anyone else, it will be invisible as well as the durability doesn't go down when you use it. We can do this fake flying thing. Durability, still 388. And then of course, this is the real elytra here. We'll just slide that on there for now, whatever. So say we were to test this on realm, I can fly a lot better and further. Let's just test this from the top of this hill. I'm going to attempt to fly to that fountain all the way over there. Normally, if I wasn't wearing anything, like I'm supposed to be, I would not be able to get to that fountain. Obviously, that is more than a four block jump, so if I do this, you guys should hopefully finally believe me if you still don't that this glitch really does work. Here we go. Just spamming spacebar. Three, two, one. Okay, so I didn't make it all the way, but I made it way further than I would have had to jump. Another thing we found is that by MLGing, you actually do get rid of this elytra, but it's only if you MLG. For some reason, if you go into the water here, you just land in some water, you'll be fine. Placing down a water bucket at your feet somehow removes the item. Anyway, let's try this again. Take a fake one, put some back on, go back up to the top. And now I'm going to spam super duper hard, guys. Here we go. We're about to fly so far. In fact, let's actually get even higher. The higher we can go with this, the better we will be. Okay, here we go. Use my finger for this. Three, two, one. Okay, now that is what I call distance. How on earth can I get that far with just a fake elytra? And just as frame reference, still 388 durability. This thing is real. Unfortunately, with these things, you can't use rockets. As you can tell, I'm trying to spam rockets, but it doesn't do anything. It just plays an animation of rockets, but nothing ever comes out. Now, the last test that I wanted to do was one on a bedrock realm. I didn't have access to realms, but I did have access to something similar, bedrock servers, because I knew servers created more lag, and I don't know. It just seemed like a good idea to test this. The only question is which server has blocks that we can actually drop. Let's just try Cubecraft. I'm in. Okay, I guess this is Cubecraft. It looks quite good. I'm surprised the amount of decoration around here. Very full of art. But we're not here for art. We're here to test if this glitch actually works on a bedrock server. Skyblock? That sounds good. Ah. Okay, so this is Skyblock. There is a quest and some trees. We're gonna punch some wood just so we can do this really quick. And it's very laggy if you guys saw that. Oh, that was pretty perfect. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, guys. Okay, no, that was definitely perfect timing. I didn't even see it pop up my inventory. I think, unfortunately, guys, I'm gonna have to mark the bedrock portion of this test a failure. Well, before I wrap up this video, guys, I do want to tell you a few more tricks that I found with this glitch with various blocks, because I do know some of these blocks can be a lot more useful than others. Let's hop back on the realm where it's easy to do this glitch. 
Alright guys, the first one I will show you of this trick is with a pickaxe. It has a pretty neat ability which allows you to basically dig anything for free. So throw that down, duplicate it, it might take a while. So I'll be back with you guys shortly. Oh, never mind, there we go. Okay, so with this block, right, say we mine and nothing actually happens, but it's mining itself right now. As you can see there, the block just vanished, and my pickaxe, so good. It was actually my hand that mined it. We can't mine two at a time, actually. If you mine two, then it just doesn't work. Only the first one will destroy. But now, there's an even cooler trick that also I want to show you. So with this dupe pickaxe, so you mine this block right here. What if we pick up the existing pickaxe? Look at that. The block pops out. This is because the game replaces what you thought was digging with a regular and just suddenly replaces it with this one. So we can take a very difficult block to mine like obsidian. Grab ourselves a fake pickaxe. Okay, we duplicated it. So say you mine obsidian, right? Now it's mining for a long time. We're obviously not going to get to see that pop because the game thinks I'm mining with my hand. But what happens if we then pick up that pickaxe there? Well, we can walk over and... The obsidian pops right out. Do you guys know what this could mean? You could instantly break the block beneath someone's feet whenever you want. That's pretty cool. You could also snap a nether portal whenever you want just by mining one of those. Plenty of possibilities. But what about durability? So here as we can see this iron pickaxe clearly mines like this and now it's 242 and 241. Let's duplicate this pickaxe. Mine it. Okay so now it's mining their fist. So it's 241. Now I pick it up. It breaks and it has 240. So keep in mind guys, this still does take up durability. Okay guys, now moving on to the next portion where we explain bows. How many arrows are currently in my inventory? None, right? Well, even in here I mean there's no arrows, and that makes perfect sense. And if we were to fire this bow here, we can't, because there's no arrows. Well, actually, there is arrows. Arrows in a lot of these. Well, there isn't one in these three and these three, I guarantee there's arrows here and here. Observe. Stone in place. What did we just get? 64 arrows. And then another stack appears over here, and this bow disappears. Appears. Okay, so what just happened? Well, first of all, this bow here was duped. It's at 5 durability, and that's pretty small. All I did is duplicate it. I put an arrow here, arrow here. With the duped bow, you can actually fire arrows, but not really. As you can see, this is taking no durability damage, but the arrows in my inventory are decreasing. This basically just hides arrows, so you can make an entire stack of arrows disappear from your inventory or however many arrows you do have. It will literally get rid of everyone, so your whole inventory could be filled up with arrows, except the one slot for the bow and all your arrows disappear all you have to do is just refresh anything so i'm gonna say we pick up this original bow actually and now say we shoot an arrow look at that the whole thing appears back here and we realize we actually had all the arrows back in the first place yeah pretty neat just remember that with all of these duped items opening any chest container or logging out will destroy most of them however if you're wearing something like a fake elytra it won't disappear when you look in chests, but it will still disappear if you relog. speaking of the elytra i actually want to see how far we can fly with an elytra Okay, so we're over Snow's portal, which I will now destroy. Oh, that trick will never get old. So no, but seriously, we are at Snow's base here. And I think that is the location where we did it last time, testing how far I could fly. So with you guys, we're going to spam super duper hard and see how far we can fly with a fake elytra. And yeah, this is where we did the short, where we could jump up in two blocks. Let's see if I can replicate that right now. I'm fairly certain it ended up being easy near the end. Hmm. Oh yeah, I just did it. I just got on top and I went too high. Alright guys, I've made it to the top of his pond. We have our setup with the armor stand and the elytra. It's the fake one, of course, because the real one is right here in our inventory. Actually, hold on, it's probably best if we set our spawn here before we do anything crazy. Ooh, actually, that takes damage. I always forget with this fake elytra that you still take damage. I also forget you can do pretty weird stuff like this. Now, whereabouts is this bed? There it is. So, I'm going to make it pretty much as far as possible that way. Now, I'm going to try. Okay guys, we've just made it from that. I can't even see that far over there, right? That's this little area of trees. So we just made it to a location that we can't even see in our render distance. That is insane. If you guys don't see the usability of a fake Elytra, then I don't know if you ever will. And so just like how the video began, we end here, flying with just about the weirdest Elytra imaginable. But this time, it's 2024 January the 13th. Happy New Year, everyone. Alright, bye.
But there are two very useful ways you can use these blocks, all right? Is that an actual Enderman or just a head? Wait, I think... <laughs> that was an actual Enderman back there. That is hilarious.